Hello and welcome back to the channel, fam. And I am your host, Vortex, from MobileMusicPro.com, your home for mobile music production. And in today's video, we're going to be playing with three brand new expansion packs for one of our hands down favorite synths over here at Mobile Music Pro, Pure Synth Platinum. Now, this is the same team responsible for a few other amazing AUV3 instruments out there, such as Bass Alicious, FN Tynes, and Neo Soul Keys. And shout out to Jamal over there at Gospel Musicians. I mean, you guys really are killing it and are truly being seen as leaders in the iOS ecosystem. And I'd say it's safe to say that pretty much anybody we know uses at least one of your instruments in their day-to-day -day productions. So then when these guys announced that they're actually doing brand new expansion packs for what is essentially the nexus of iOS, we knew we had to get our hands on them and do a video. And boy, oh boy, were we not disappointed in the slightest, just huge iconic sounds in their EDM expansion and just beautifully dirty and gritty and full sounding 808s in their 808 pack. But remember, that's just our opinion, folks. We want you to be the final judge. So make sure you let us know what you think about these new presets and expansion packs in the comments section below. And we just also wanted to quickly mention that we actually did an interview with the producer and sound designer that created these expansion packs. So make sure to check out the link to that video in the description below. And of course, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment because we do this for you folks. Now let's get right into playing with these three brand new expansion packs for Pure Synth Platinum. All right, folks, the synthesizer we'll be playing with today is the Pure Synth Platinum by Gospel Musicians, available for $19.99. Pure Synth Platinum is a full-blown rompler and synthesizer for your iOS device. Neither the synth engine or the sample engine is an afterthought. Both engines are fully capable and feature-rich. The rompler section contains a well-rounded assortment of analog, synth, string, digital, and acoustic instruments. The beauty of Pure Synth is the ability to mix between the two worlds of analog and sample based instruments. Alright folks, we're going to be checking out three different sample packs today, these three brand new sample packs from Gospel Musicians. To find them, we click on our preset browser at the top, and here you'll see the brand new presets. We're going to be playing with the 8-bit presets, the 808 presets, and the EDM leads presets. All three of these are brand new expansion packs available today. But before we do that, we're actually going to show you a couple of demos. We created two separate demos. The first demo we created is going to be more in the trap genre, and that's going to use a lot of the 808 presets. And the second demo we created is more of the electronic genre using the EDM leads presets. We actually did not get a chance to use any of the 8-bit presets in these two demos yet, but we will be playing with those along with the other two expansion packs today. So now let's go ahead and quickly check out these two demos before we start playing. Okay, here we are on the EDM demo. Let's check this out. We have a bunch of Pure Synth Platinums, as you can see here. We actually had to freeze most of these tracks as we are running in an original iPad still, so we don't want to use up too much memory while we're recording here. But you can see that we have Pure Synth for all of the different melodies. So we have one, two, three different melodies and a bit of a bass sounding as sound as well. So that's going to be using the Pure Synth as well. And the drums are coming from Beathawk. And then we have a bunch of different risers, impacts, and effects that we took from various sample packs. So let's go ahead and start playing. Okay, and that was the EDM demo. As you can see, we're not doing too many complicated things here. Uh, we have a couple of different presets, like, uh, let's see, let's take a look. We have a couple of different presets, like the Pump House. We're going to be using the Pump House on a couple of these melodies to give that side chain like effect. As you can see, we have Pump House on this melody and this melody. And, but we, we don't have it on this melody, but we do have the RRS, which is, stands for Red Rock Sound bass enhancer. So we have the RRS bass enhancer on this particular bass sound coming from Pure Synth Platinum. 
And other than that, not too much, just some standard stuff on the drums, EQ, and a little bit of compression. Okay, now we have our trap loop pulled up, so let's go ahead and play with that. Okay, pretty simple loop as you can see. Let's just dig in just a little bit. As you can see, we have all of the melodies being played again by Pure Synth Platinum with just a couple of EQs and things like that on it. Nothing crazy. I think we have a stereo with here on the organ and an EQ and another Red Rock Sound Bass Enhancer plugin on our bass, which is this mid buzz thingy here. And finally, just a standard EQ on our 808. And our drums are, as you can see here, the kick, snare, clap, and hats is coming from the iPadBeatMaking.com 808 Engine Kit. So if you like those drums, you can definitely find those at iPadBeatMaking.com. But other than that, not much going on here. All right, we hope you enjoyed those quick demos so you can kind of see what you can really do and what is possible with this synthesizer. As you can hear, you can use it in virtually any type of genre that you want. You can use it for leads, you can use it for bass, you can use it for 808, pretty much anything that you really need. So let's go ahead and start digging and diving into these brand new expansion packs. So again, we will click on the init at the top to bring up our preset library. Let's drag the preset library down so we can see a little bit more of it. We of course have this pulled up as an AUV3 instrument inside of Cubasis. So first off, let's go ahead and take a look at the 8-bit. As you can see, we have a bunch of different categories in here, including General Sounds, Nintendo, Mario, Pac-Man, Zelda, Donkey Kong, Frogger, and a bunch of miscellaneous effects. And just one more quick reminder, guys, we did do an interview with the creator of these brand new presets, Blind from BlindEDM.com. Make sure you check out that video. We just recorded that earlier this week on the channel, so make sure you check that out. Blind actually ended up showing us how he created a couple of those presets. So again, guys, make sure you check out that video. All right, so in Nintendo, let's play with Nintendo first, I think, because that's going to be the most fun. Let's see what we got here for sounds. We got that bass Famicom sound. Let's, let's lower the octave a bit. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's see what we got next. Even got some drum samples here, as you can see, with some hi-hats and some kicks and some percussions. Let's hear what those sound like. Man, some of these sounds are bringing back a bunch of memories. Let's see here, what else we got?
Oh, we got some duck hunting sounds in here. We have some duck hunting sounds. Let's see what that sounds like. Oh man, so good. <laughs> you could build a pretty cool riser with that. Let's see what else we got here. Ooh, uh, another duck hunt one. Gun one is a little interesting. Let's see what a couple of these. Let's see what a couple of these leads sound like. That sound. I like that uh, that cave sound. Oh yes, the Metroid sound. This is this is probably my favorite one in the Nintendo by far. Definitely can make some cool sounds out of that. Can use that in a bunch of different places. Let's move on to some Mario stuff. Oh, we got some classic stuff in here, like the mushroom. That's going to be a much higher pitch from to mimic the video game. Let's see. <laughs> there we go. That's about the right key right there. Good stuff. Let's hear the jump. so many of these sounds and so many songs like people wouldn't even really remember what they came from or know what they came from they would just know that they're video game sounding oh that's cool so this plays a different sound when you let up off of the key so one sound on impact or on press and then one sound when you lift up Such a cool sound. This is this is a pretty cool sound. This is when you hit the question mark in Mario. Awesome, awesome. Let's check out the Pac-Man. I'm sure there's a couple familiar sounding sounds in here. Let's try the ghost. Classic stuff in here. Oh, a couple of Zelda presets. Check these out. I don't remember that one. Remember the slash, though. a classic sound and that just works well with like any kind of track i mean you could just throw that sound effect in in a trap song or in an edm song it doesn't matter it's really nice oh uh, let's just do a couple from donkey kong and then move on to the next pack <laughs> the barrel jump so classic Death. 
Oh man, so classic. That's going to bring back a lot of memories from the arcades. Yes, folks, I am pretty old. Old enough to remember Donkey Kong in the arcades. Yes. Oh, so, so, so good. All right, now let's go ahead and move on to the 808 sounding kits. We got two separate banks here, which is really great. We have bank A and bank B, both with like, pff, looks like 50 presets in here at least. Looks like bank A has a lot of distortion. Yep. And, a, and bank B has a bunch of stuff too. Let's go ahead and check out a couple of these. Uh, we're going to go down the line. Let's check out 808 Basic. It sounds pretty good. It's got a really nice glide on it. Nice impact. Let's check out some more. Oh yes, the classic cinema drop. This is an awesome preset that Blind put in here. Beautiful. Pretty nice 808s. Let's try some of the distorted ones. Oh, I like this one. Yep, that one's probably one of my favorite. stuff good stuff so many in here it's hard to uh it's like you never need 808s again when, once you have this thing in here because of course once you have unload up the preset there is so much modifications you can further do on the synthesizer itself Oh, that's nice. It's got a nice square on it. It's got this sine square wave sounding thing at the end. All right. Let's check out Bank B and see what we got in here. Got some mod wheel stuff in here. Most of these presets, I'm told from Blind, actually does have mod wheel support, so make sure you check out the mod wheel once you're playing with these presets. Beautiful sounding, beautiful sounding 808s in here.
it looks like you just got your standard uh, bread and butter 808s down here. So super useful, super versatile. Uh, I'm going to try one more in here, which is this sub drop. Oh yeah, very, very useful. Very cool. Uh, finally, let's try the super bass. Wow, very gritty, very nasty, very powerful. Sounds like it's got a square wave on the top of it or something. You can kind of easily use it as a lead once you get to the higher notes. All right, let's go ahead and go to the EDM leads. This, of course, will be my favorite so far because there's just so much stuff to play with in here. Um, again, the other pack was just basically 808, so can't really get too musical with that. But now we are on the EDM leads, so... Almost all of these here are going to be just mega huge, mega iconic leads, both in the bank A and the bank B. So let's play with a couple of these. Beautiful bass sound. Very nice. Provide some nice uh, kind of uplifting melody there in the higher keys. Wheel does some interesting things on this. Add some kind of uh, bit crusher on there. Oh, very cool. The mod wheel uh, puts it from left and right. Very cool, very nice, very, very useful. All these presets are so useful. Mod wheel is obviously the filter there on that one. We use this sound in the demo that we created. Love the slide or the glide on this particular preset. Nice vibrato on the mod wheel. Very cool, the mod wheel again, adjusting that, going back and forth, adjusting the LFO. Beautiful. We use this preset as well in the demo. A nice glide organ.
right now we're getting to some Jupiter presets. Nice, the uh, mod wheel's doing the filter. All right, let's head over to bank B, check out a couple of these. Man, it's just a huge, huge sound, super saw sounding sound. All right, let's see what else we got here. Man, and the mod wheel does something on every one of these presets. It's so nice. Because it's a square, it sounds like almost like it should be belonging in the in the eight bit category. Some nice detuned sounds there. So lots of classic Hoover-like sounds in here, lots of classic super saws, all sorts of interesting things in here. Finally, let's check out the Trapped preset. Oh, I like this one. Might be able to get kind of funky with it. Man, it just sounds so 80s. All right, beautiful, beautiful. We really hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough, enjoyed this playing, this Let's Play. Uh, we had a great time playing with these different presets and all of these different expansions. We really are looking forward to seeing more and more of these presets, and we can't wait to see what Gospel Musicians is going to come out with next. All right, welcome back, everybody. We really hope you enjoyed us demoing those brand new expansion packs for Pure Synth Platinum. Because, you know, we really love these sounds, but hey, make sure to let us know what you think in the comments section below. Would you buy these? And do they sound usable to you? Let us know. In these financially tough times, it really does help out the pocketbook to be an iOS music producer, especially when you're looking at all of those iOS prices compared to the huge hundreds and hundreds of dollars, sometimes thousands of dollars of the equivalents on the desktop. It ends up being pretty tough sometimes for us to turn down some of these prices, especially when you're looking at this amazing quality of these synthesizers and other plugin apps for something like $2, $5, or $10. It's like some days I just want to tell myself, Vortex, stop buying so many apps and just make some damn music already. Maybe I will. F you. 
<laughs> but anyways, make sure to check out our interview with the sound designer and producer who created these three expansion packs and get some insight into how they were made. And as always, folks, we have a ton more content coming up in the pipeline. So if you really do appreciate videos like this and this content, make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel and give us the oxygen in our lungs to keep going and making these videos. So until next time, folks, keep talking music and we'll see you later.